welcome back to my channel and today I have a spring or Easter DIY for you from the Dollar Tree. So let me show you what you'll need in case you want to make this project. It's going to be so cute. Okay, what you're going to need is some floral foam, just a little square piece of floral foam. Um, you're going to need, I may use this jute twine, I'm not sure, or I may use some of this burlap ribbon that I got there at the Dollar Tree last fall I think or summer I'm not sure and you're gonna need some flowers from the Dollar Tree um, I just picked up several that I just like I have these dahlias that are pink I think they're really pretty and then I have some little daisies and then I have some petunias and then I have some lilacs little pretty white lilacs and then these are called, um, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name, but that's the name of them. And that's what they look like. They almost look like dogwood blossoms. And then you're going to need some folk art paint, the coffee latte. I've used it many times before. Now what I didn't realize is I originally had some coffee latte and it was satin and it was multi-surface and I like it better than this. This is just the matte. But I'll use what I have. And then you need a foam brush, a glue gun, something to cut your um, flowers with. And then you're going to need five, well maybe like ten wooden dowels from Walmart. And the dowels are three sixteenths um, of an inch. And I cut them four and an eighth inch long, just like that. And I painted them with that coffee latte and then just sand the ends so, and paint the ends. And you can see that, like, this is the one that's the satin and it just looks softer, whereas this is the one that's matte and it just looks a little flatter. But I'm going to blend them and I don't think it's going to be a problem at all. Okay, so what we're going to do, first of all, is we are going, let me push this down so you can see. Okay, we're just going to open this foam with our scissors. Okay, and what I'm going to do is make a little floral box to set out. I think it's going to be really cute. Alright, but I want to put these dowels all the way around this and just kind of make this into a container. So what you want to do is just have them flush on the bottom. So I'm just going to put, now if someone's going to be touching this a lot or anything, I would once again suggest E6000 or the Fix All Adhesive from the Dollar Tree. Okay, and I want this where it's just flush. And just stick up a little bit, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm just going to butt the next one. I'll do one more, but I know you have the idea of where I'm going and what I'm doing. And as soon as I get this one on, then I'll be back after I get all of my sticks around through there. But I want it to be very kind of farmhousey, kind of Tuscan, just like that. And we're going to go all the way around this block, and I'll be back when I get finished. Okay, this is what we have. I just went around and I did the, this side and then I went and did this side and then I did my two ends. And what I would do, I just started flush like I showed you and then here I just put one right there. And I think it turned out really cute. So now what we're going to do is just start cutting our flowers and putting them in there just like we wanted them. I ended up having two dowels left over after I purchased 10 of those at Walmart and they're not very expensive but if you wanted to you can go get the ones at Dollar Tree that are already pre-cut. Now what we're going to do is just start sticking our flowers in here however we like it, whatever we think looks nice. But I want this to look so bright and happy. And you could just do one bunch of flowers if you wanted, but I'm going to alternate other colors in here. Put this 
There isn't really a right or wrong way to do this, just whatever you like. Try to give them a little bit of, well I needed, I had two on that. I think I'm going to take these two and put right here because I want it to kind of be symmetrical. I think that's looking really festive. Okay, now we'll put a couple, and I didn't think I would use all the flowers, but I wanted to have enough. So it looks nice and full and springy. I think we're all excited for spring. But you just keep building and building whatever you want. And however you want it. Put maybe some of this towards the front. I'm thinking maybe. Like I said, there really isn't a right or wrong way to do this. And you could totally match your own decor, but you can get those that Dollar Tree sell with the um, dowels already cut and then you wouldn't have to cut the dowels. All you'd have to do is just paint them. And I think I might put a couple more of these right back here. Okay, as far as the flower arrangement goes, I think I'm finished with it. I really do like it. Um, let me see, maybe I could put there. Do I like that? Yes, I think it needs something right here. So I'm just going to stick that right like that. Now what I'm going to do is take this burlap that I bought there as well. Just lay this down. And what we're going to do is just see how much it takes. Just overlap this just a little bit. So about right here. And we're just going to cut it off. If you would see this like a Hobby Lobby or Kirkland's, you'd pay a lot of money for this. And I really cut this longer than it needed to be. And I'm just going to put a lot of hot glue right here on this. Have it in the center and pull it taut. And just push down with these little spatulas. They really do keep you from getting burned. Now we have it like that. You can either fold that over or you can just bring it like that across. Let me see which way I think I want to do it. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going for a kind of rustic look. So I think I'll fold mine back just a little bit. Put some glue right here. This is so easy, but it looks so pretty. Okay, and then, then we have that. I think that is super cute. So you could leave it like this if you wanted to, but I'm thinking about maybe then taking some of this jute Maybe tying something around it. I think I will. So let me t get some of this jute going. And let's see. 
how we want to do it. But this is so customizable, you can do whatever you want. Let's see. Make sure I have that even. You can either lap it around and then bring it back and then tie, which I might do that. And then there you go. I think it is a super adorable spring or Easter um, flower arrangement just to sit around. And it looks so festive, so happy. And you can coordinate it with your collars. I just, I just think it's a really cute little, little um, idea. So I'm going to show you in a minute where I put it in my house for now. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, I thought I'd hop back on here and show you where I'm going to put it on that table my husband made for me. I have it sitting right down here. I think it is adorable. And I'm not finished with everything that I'm going to put on my table yet, but I just have it right here by my Happy Easter that I made last year. So I really think this is cute. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.